Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make this amazing balsamic pepper jack stuffed meatloaf. Welcome to Food Crazed. Start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees. In a large bowl, add two pounds of ground hamburger meat, then add half of a cup of finely diced onions, then add three fourths of a cup of diced celery. Then you need one fourth of a cup of chopped fresh parsley, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half of a teaspoon of salt, one fourth of a teaspoon of ground pepper, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Then my secret ingredient, one six ounce box of stuffing mix. This is a pre-mix, kind of like a stovetop stuffing. Then we need three large eggs, and to this we're gonna pour half of a cup of milk into the eggs and whisk this up together. Just whisk this up until it's nice and combined, and then we're gonna go ahead and pour it right over the top. You can stir the ingredients together with a fork. I'm taking a fork to kind of break up the chunks of meat here, and then I'm gonna really get in here and just use my hands to knead the meatloaf around and kind of combine all of these awesome ingredients together. On a large work surface, lay down some parchment paper. Now we're gonna take our meat mixture and we're gonna pour it onto the work surface, onto the parchment paper, and we're gonna flatten it out with our hands. We're gonna be forming a very large rectangle. And just have fun with this part. You really can't mess this up whatsoever. Just try your best and push the meat around because you know what? You're in charge. You're in charge of pushing this meat around. It's true. You can absolutely do this. I believe in you. It should be about a 12 by 15 inch rectangle when you're done. Now we're gonna lay down pepper jack cheese slices. You can always break some of the slices in half so you can fit it around the edges so everywhere has cheese. I used nine slices of pepper jack cheese in this meatloaf. Now we're gonna roll up this meatloaf jelly roll style, starting on one end. Use the parchment paper to your advantage as a guide to help roll up this meatloaf. When you get to the end, my cheese was kind of sticking out. It had gotten pushed out, so I kind of just flipped it and tucked it inside the meatloaf and then pushed the meatloaf up and over it. Another thing to do is both ends, the top and the bottom, I tucked those in too so they're nice and tight and kind of shaped them. That way the cheese is just enclosed right in the center. Go ahead and lightly grease a nine by 13 casserole and then gently pick up your meatloaf and kind of maneuver the parchment paper out from underneath it and get it situated in the pan just how you want it. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever stuffed a meatloaf full of cheese too, or if you've ever eaten a meatloaf that had cheese in the inside. Let's talk about balsamic vinegar. I have a Mission Fig balsamic vinegar that I'm gonna use today, but you could totally just use regular balsamic vinegar, which I've done plenty of times, and you're gonna need about two to three tablespoons, and you're gonna heavily, heavily coat the top and the sides of your meatloaf with balsamic vinegar. Just to let you know, down in the description, I have a list of all the ingredients that I used today in making this awesome balsamic pepper jack stuffed meatloaf, or there's also a link to the printable recipe down there. All we have left to do at this point is to bake it in the oven. So let's do that. Let's bake this for 60 to 75 minutes or until the internal temperature has reached 160 degrees and the meatloaf is cooked through. This meatloaf is filled with spectacular flavor and you can see all this ooey gooey pepper jack cheese oozing out from the inside. It's absolutely delicious, our family loves it. 
Everyone at my house loves different condiments and feel free to serve this with any of your favorite condiments from like barbecue sauce, ketchup, steak sauce, or even make some brown gravy to go over the top of this wonderful meatloaf. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another amazing yummy recipe. Thanks again for watching.